After some tough negotiations that lasted over two days, the Hamburg Joint Declaration emerged. 19 of the 20 leaders were able to agree on all points made in the communique with the exception of President Donald Trump, who could not agree on climate change. So, breaking with tradition, a separate paragraph on the U.S.'s stance on the Paris Climate Agreement and fossil fuels was added. On the trade front, non-discriminatory reciprocity and stress on open inclusive trade agreements emerged. It was climate change that was the most contentious one. U.S. stuck to its point but said that it's willing to give technological support and assist developing countries. That is a major breakthrough. The Paris Climate Pact is irreversible. That was the voice that emerged from European nations at the G20 Hamburg summit. 19 members of the G20 have reiterated this position despite President Donald Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Agreement. As all efforts to convince US to come on board failed, the G20 statement was forced to carry Washington's disagreements on the issue, but with a rider. While the communique acknowledged Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Pact, it added a conciliatory note of America's commitment to helping other countries access and use fossil fuels more cleanly and efficiently. Addressing media after the summit closed, German Chancellor Merkel expressed disappointment that the two sides failed to reach a compromise formula. What it can becomes clear in um, this um, uh, declaration is the dissenting view of the United States, but I am very gratified to note uh, that um, the other 19 um, member states of G20 say that uh, the Paris Agreement is irreversible, that we feel committed to, the, um, uh, to what we uh, agreed on and that it is to be implemented as quickly as possible and that we also agreed on a so-called Hamburg Action Plan on climate and energy. Washington's wish to work closely with other countries to help them access and use fossil fuels more cleanly and efficiently may come as breather for developing nations that seek assistance in the transition from conventional energy sources to cleaner ones. India has also categorically conveyed to the G20 that its progression to clean energy will take its due course given its growth and development commitments. We have held this position that you know, the, the uh, clean fossil fuels will remain a part of our uh, uh, energy basket for some years to come. So uh, we, we uh, uh, certainly see ourselves also as benefiting if the U.S. actually uh, assists us. Our uh, own uh, progression would be from dirty coal to clean coal, gas, and of course, Prime Minister has a huge commitment to the renewables. We are moving